Welcome to my channel uh, youtube.com slash Azrael Nazli alias So this video is to guide you on how to optimize your virtual reality experience on iRacing uh, racing simulation So the device that I'm using here is Oculus Rift CV1 uh, So both lens need to be uh, rendered 90 frames per second uh, so that I I will not experience nausea or discomfort while driving inside this headset. So this video will I will guide you on how to achieve 90 frames per second on both lenses. Okay. So first thing first, you need to download Oculus.com uh, slash setup uh, because we are using. VR for sim racing, you can skip the, the setup for controllers. You just need to, to make sure the driver is is uh, properly installed for the Oculus Rift, and run the Oculus Rift uh, Oculus Home before you are running uh, i racing. After that, uh, we need to set up your Nvidia control panel in Manage 3D. You can here okay this thing is uh, Nvidia uh, managed 3d settings I'm using uh, RTX 2070 RTX so as you can see here uh, I'm using I'm enhancing my anti alias uh, performance by enabling anti-aliasing transparency to 2x super sample and then uh, yeah, I'll scroll down there's the windows okay, as you can see here So then uh, I set my max frame rate to 91 frames per second, extra one, frame, extra two frames actually from from hardware limited 90 frames per second for each lenses, each lens here. And then uh, power management set to optimal power. Texture fi filtering set to high quality. Uh, for the reference here, I'm using Intel i7 uh, 8700 at 3200 uh, MHz and virtual reality pre-rendered frame I set to 4 VSSS, I think I'm not sure this thing being applied in iRacing but I set it to additive okay. So next uh, To make sure uh, iRacing uh, can can run in VR, you need to open your Notepad and open Renderer DX Plus DX11 dot INI inside my documents iRacing and set the wait, let me see it's under Oculus Rift tab inside the notepad and Rift enable equal to 1 pixel per display equal to 125 auto select equal to 1 and save and then run iRacing from your browser so let's see if I Right now, my VR is ready to uh, load the iRacing software. So if I press P or F, okay, inside, get inside the car first, recenter. 
So you need to reset uh, to map your recenter button inside I Racing Control. Map to any button. I using uh, this toggle for my recenter. So that when I wear the headset, uh, the the camera will recenter the position. So map that thing first. So I will wear this this headset and guide you how get guide you how to configure configure the the graphic for iRacing let me turn tone down the audio from the car okay okay right now it's not recentering uh the the, the visual is off to the right so next minute i need to map you need to map a button to the center this is my recenter button and also map the button for enter and exit the car. Uh, my RSC is not focused, so I cannot. So I cannot. Uh, need to focus RSC window before I can use the mouse. Okay. Let's try again. So I'm I'm, I'm using uh, glasses, so it's a bit tight from inside here. But it's nevertheless it's quite comfy. Okay, the center again. Map or map a button to get out from the car too. Okay. So inside I racing, uh, software you need to click options. So the center a button to exit the car. So in this case, I already recentered here already map the button here so for the recenter is inside control you find HMD recenter recenter HMD click and map here done ok so if you recenter button down high wire channel not this one okay so you need to go to option this is the most important part okay go to graphics as you can see here on the top, there's a uh, two row, display row and performance row. So, uh, multi GPU. I'm using single GPU. So set it to one GPU. Number of strain equal to one. Click untick SPS if you are using uh, NVIDIA RTX or GTX. This is reduce uh, the resources usage in iRacing VR. Okay, so now we move to the performance row. Then this is three columns. I call it column on the left, middle, and on the right. This is my setting uh, to make sure I can achieve 90 frames per second uh, with PPDP value at one to five in renderer DX11 dot INI. Only the thing that I say high is sky or clouds. The the, the other thing I I set it to either low or off, even in the particles. So with this setting, I can, uh, I can, uh, my PC can handle 90 frames per second even in the high demanded track like number green GP with uh, 35 cars, and still rendering 90 frames per second without any drop. So uh, for the particle, I say, say low. Maximum car is 20. You can lower this value if your PC cannot can cope with it. And also on the drop down menu, draw minimum cars, draw, draw minimum hits. Dynamic LOD is off. Frame second is uh, I put it 91. And this thing I choose off. Frame rate no limit because my frame, my uh, my CD one actually can handle up or no limit or you can put it 92 
max pre-rendered frames is equal to 4 and the uh, both hot bar here you put it at 90% from the maximum value for the video memory and system memory anisotropic filtering I set to 4 AA sample I set to 4 uh, this one is 8 this one is 4 because uh, NVIDIA uh, that I showed you before the NVIDIA uh, transfer transparency AA is ably, is being applied at 2x so this that thing uh, those thing will uh, do the job uh, together to improve the clarity when the dynamic track is antique antique shadow maps is antique only the shader quality is set to high down here uh, I prefer to use uh, uh, onboard mirrors, not the virtual one, but I'm only limited to two. So, cockpit mirrors maximum is two. Take virtual box, uh, this I will show you later why. And I take sharpening. So, let's have a drive. I use external headphone because the, the CB1 earphone already gone to pass. Okay, I will show you. Oh, okay. I need to show you this thing. This setting can can render 90 frames per second. So, press F in the keyboard there. Okay. So, I toggle off my virtual mirror. So, I can see left and right. But, no, no, no rendering on the rear mirror as you can see I I sit quite uh, a bit up front I mean uh, with the, the steering wheel is a bit uh, closer to my chest okay. 90 frames per second with uh, R at 11 and G at 5.8 So this is the car that I drive is Mazda MX-5 at Monza circuit ninety frame per second stable. Even with maximum cars on the grid like 30 cars the frame per second is, is stable at 90 using this setting and to me the, the frame the frame uh, the stable the frame is much better than eye candy So sitting closer to the screen is actually give me more much better control. I can break much later, I can control the wheel. I can feel the car sliding. And the most important thing, uh, the the visual is very smooth and fluid. Uh, 90 frames per second for each eye That's it So while entering the pit uh, the FPS 
GPS also at 90 depending on your uh, type of headset for Rift S it will be maximum rate frame rate is 80 for the K2 is 75 for Quest 2 is 90 So that's it, uh, my tips to get you uh, on the speed of getting VR. When I first uh, get my VR, it took me around two weeks to get off the nausea and, and get used with, with VR. After that, I sold my triple screen and only used VR since then. So thank you for watching like and subscribe my video if this information is uh, good enough to help you using VR till meet you again in another video bye